In this video, let's discuss the differences between the AirPods Pro 2 versus the Bioplay EX and decide which one you should get if you have an iPhone. Both fall under the premium earbud category, but the Bioplay EX is more expensive. And for that money, both the earbuds comes with almost the same accessories. However, Apple has included extra small sized ear tips for the very first time, whereas the Bioplay EX comes with one pair of Comply ear tips, which are essentially memory foams. Both the cases are very small and you definitely will not face any problems carrying them around in your pockets. However, the AirPods Pro 2's case remains one of the slimmest in the market. But their white glossy surface makes them get very dirty very very easily and they are also vulnerable to scratches and minor fingerprints. Bang & Olufsen solves that problem by giving an aluminium and polymer built case which makes the Bioplay EX low maintenance. Both the earbuds have a stem design but has their own nuances and style differences. On my time using both the headphones, I have enjoyed wearing them on my ears equally for a long period of time. I found both to provide a very solid fit on my ears as long as I paired them up with the right sized ear tips that fit my ears. But it is worthwhile to mention that the Bioplay EX is a joy to take out on a run with the Comply ear tips. They can get a little bit warm after a lengthy period of time, but for short wear times such as, as when you're on the gym, they are perfectly fine. The memory foams in the Comply ear tips helps to give a more secure fit on your ears than the AirPods Pro 2. But everyone's ears are a little bit different, so it's always best to try them out before you're buying them. In terms of connectivity, of course, we are concerned about the performance over ASE codec for this video though the Bioplay EX also supports aptX codec for Android. And on my tests, I found that the latency on the AirPods Pro 2 are much better than on the EX. This does not make much difference if you're only streaming music, but watching movies and playing games feels more snappy on the iPhone with an AirPods Pro 2. Also, the Bioplay EX comes with support for multipoint connectivity, which is very good. But if you have all Apple devices, then moving between them is a breeze with the AirPods Pro 2. You just have to connect them once on one iOS device and then all other iOS devices under the same Apple ID will automatically get connected. So switching from say having a Zoom call on your MacBook to taking a call on your iPhone and then going over to your iPad for some YouTube streaming is all very seamless. Unfortunately, this level of convenience cannot be matched by BNO or by any other manufacturer for that matter. Also, in terms of battery life, you will see a much better performance on the AirPods Pro 2 in every category than the Bioplay EX. The Bioplay EX offers very good touch controls. You can control a lot of things like playback commands and calls without ever needing to take your phone out. They also have a user-friendly companion app that lets you push updates and fine-tune a few settings which is great. The AirPods Pro 2 have similar commands but instead of being all touch controls, they also have a pin gesture to change tracks and slide gesture to change volume which feels more intuitive and natural than just tap. Also, the AirPods Pro 2 finally gets their own page on iPhone settings section. From here, you can make a lot of customizations and also get some useful data. And when it comes to noise cancellation, Bang & Olufsen has adaptive noise cancellation as an option. However, in this mode, the Bioplay EX are a little bit slow to realize when the NC settings should be high, like when I am outside or in a train maybe. So you will get some lackluster performance from them if you are on this mode. However, the AirPods Pro 2 seems to be always on the right gear in these situations. But with the new updates on firmware 5.5.8 version, you get an option to turn off the adaptive noise cancellation on the Bioplay EX. This allows you to switch to good old fashioned active noise cancellation with the ability to control the levels which is something I wish Apple also had as it gives the user more control. Though none of them can match the strength of noise cancellation from the likes of Sony or Bose, they do equally well to at least dampen if not totally cancel the major low range frequencies. Like the noise of tires on a road while inside a bus. Only difference is that with the Bioplay EX, I felt that the pressure created by ANC a bit sooner than I did with the AirPods Pro 2. But for me, the real game changer is Apple's transparency mode. This technology of Apple is right now miles ahead of the competition in my opinion. The feedback you get on the AirPods Pro 2 from their surrounding environment is very natural. 
nothing is over amplified. It's almost as if I'm not wearing anything on my ears. And on top of that, there is a feature called Conversation Boost, which can enhance the capabilities of AirPods Pro 2 to even work like a hearing aid to some degree. Sound quality is an area where the Bioplay EX is bossing it not only over the AirPods Pro 2, but also over a lot of other true wireless earbuds in the same price category. Though both the earbuds have a similar balanced sound profile, the Bioplay EX is just more polished when it comes to clarity and accuracy. You will also get a weird equalizer to make some changes, which are not that bad. Plus, they have a bigger driver which BNO tuned as good as it gets for now, so you will also get more fidelity, more volume, and a deeper and tighter bass than the AirPods Pro 2. The AirPods Pro 2's sound is good, don't get me wrong, and for most people, this sound quality is just enough. Also, the new H2 chip inside has done a great job of processing sound much better than the earlier generation of AirPods Pro. But if you are an audio purist, you will want to get the Bioplay EX. In terms of call quality, I'm happy with how well both the earbuds handle voice in a noisy situation. So coming up is a mic test that I did for both the earbuds. Let me know in the comment section which one you prefer. Testing the microphone of the Apple AirPods Pro Gen 2. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Testing the microphone of the Bioplay EX. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Mic check, mic check. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Look, if you have an iPhone, then the AirPods Pro 2 will make your life a lot easy. They are more practical for having features such as locating your lost AirPods and sharing audio with other AirPods users from the same iOS device. So I guess the question is, how big of an audiophile are you? And in the end, if you decide to get the Bioplay EX, then of course, you get bragging rights over better sound quality, but they are also competitive with build quality, fit, comfort, call quality, and noise cancellation. But that's it from me today, folks. Please let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please like, share, and subscribe. This is Nafis signing off till next week. Peace.